What is cytotoxic drug reconstitution? Let's break it down one by one. Cytotoxic drugs or cytostatics, also known as cytotoxic chemotherapy, are drugs used to destroy cancer cells. Cytotoxic drugs inhibit cell division and in this way cause cancer cells to die. On the other hand, reconstitution means to add water. So together we have cytotoxic drug reconstitution, which means we add water into the cytotoxic drug. How does a cytotoxic drug reconstitution unit look like? This is a layout plan of the cytotoxic drug reconstitution unit. We have the gowning room, the CDR preparation room, the storage receiving and distribution room, the changing room, the component room, and the management and document control room. This is the CDR room. As you can see in the picture, there are two personnel in their PPE jumpsuit reconstituting cytotoxic drug. This is a class 2 biosafety cabinet and this is a pass box where we pass items from this room to the next room which is the preparation room. This is the preparation room. Usually students will be in this room to swap the workbench, the pass box, drug and non-drug items such as syringes and needles before putting them into the pass box. Later, after the personnel have done the final product, we will label the final product in this room as well. This is the storage room. It is where we keep all drug and non-drug items. As you can see, this is a refrigerator where we keep drugs that needs to be refrigerated. This is the changing room. This is where we wash our hands before we put on our PPE clothing before entering the clean room. What are the roles of a pharmacist assistant in the CDR unit? Pharmacist assistants are responsible to record temperature, pressure, and humidity of the clean room. If any of the readings are out of range, we have to inform the person in charge to let them know of the situation. Next is to prepare materials needed for reconstitution, such as syringes, needles, sterile wipes, and we have to place them in the pass box so that the personnel in the clean room can use them. Next, a pharmacist assistant has to swap the drug and non-drug items with 70% isopropyl alcohol in the preparation room. Lastly, a pharmacist assistant has to assist a pharmacist during the reconstitution of cytotoxic drug in the clean room. How to label a cytotoxic product? As you can see, this is an example of a cytotoxic drug label used in the pharmacy department of Hospital Pulau Pinang. These are all the informations required to be on the label, such as the drug added, amount, final volume, date prepared, duration of infusion, type of ward, name of patient, and also the registration number of the patient. Gowning procedure upon entry living room and clean room. Gowning before entering living room. Remove jewelry, accessory, and cosmetic before gowning. Next, be sure to wear hairnet properly by containing all hair. Next, contain all laces and tassels by donning shoe covers. If crossover bench is used, Transfer each foot to cleaner side of the bench after shoe covers is done. Next, wash hands according to 7 steps hand washing technique. Next, wear the first glove which is chemo glove. Next, wear disposable gown. Next, wear the mask. Next, wear the second gloves which is the sterile glove. Pull the gloves over the cuffs of the jumpsuits. And lastly, perform a final inspection in gowning room mirror before entering the labeling room. Gowning before entering clean room. Remove jewelry, accessory, and cosmetic before gowning. 
Next, be sure to wear hairnet properly by containing all hair. Then, contain all laces and tassels by donning shoe covers. If crossover bench is used, transfer each foot to cleaner side of the bench after shoe covers is done. Next, wash hands according to 7 steps hand washing technique. Next, wear the first glove which is the chemo gloves. And then, wear the jumpsuit and make sure not to touch the floor while donning it. Next, wear the mask and bend the nose piece first for a snug visual fit. Then, wear the boot covers. Put on boots and pull boots over the legs of the jumpsuit. Next, wear the second gloves, which is the sterile gloves. Pull the gloves over the cuffs of the jumpsuits. And lastly, perform a final inspection in gowning room mirror before entering the clean room. How to handle cytotoxic spill? These are the steps of handling said toxic spill. Firstly, open the spill kit available in the unit. Then, isolate the spill area with said toxic warning sign. Then, wear inner natural glove, mask, goggles only if available, followed by head cover, shoe cover, and outer latex glove. Then, discard sharps into a sharp bin by using disposable scoop. Next, Contain liquid spill with gauzes or absorbent pads while powder spill with wet gauzes. Next, dispose used absorbent pads or gauzes into inner layer of double layer cytotoxic waste bag. Next, pour Decon 90 onto spill area and wipe from outer to inner area. Repeat two or three times by using new gauze. Next, wipe several times with water until clean. Use new gauze every time. Next, Discard all the waste into inner layer of cytotoxic waste bag and tie it with a secure knot. Next, discard hair cover, mask, gown, shoe cover, and natural gloves into the outer layer of cytotoxic bag except for goggles and tie a secure knot. Next, wash hands with soap and water, fill up in student form, and return goggles as well as the cytotoxic spill kit to pharmacy. What type of systems used in CDR unit? There are two types of system, which is open system and closed system. These two systems will be explained briefly. Isolators used in CDR unit is a type of open system. It has a negative pressure containment system. Negative pressure containment systems can protect the user or the operator. This is because the pressure inside the isolator is less than the pressure in the cleanroom environment. It can prevent hazardous toxins from escaping the isolator and entering the cleanroom as well as the outside environment. Fossil system is a closed system drug transfer device. It can prevent exposure to hazardous drugs from drug preparation to IV administration. These are only few examples of fossil system. The first one is fossil protector. Protector provides airtight safety and dry leak-proof connections. Next, fossil injector. Injector creates a leak-proof connection during drug preparation and administration. Next is fossil connector. Connector creates a leak-proof seal throughout the entire drug transfer procedure. Next, administration products, the L-connector. The L-connector can be used for manual priming. Next is list of cancer drugs available in hospital. These are the list of available drugs in Hospital Pulau Binang. What are the common regimen for cancer treatments?
These are the few examples of common regimen for cancer treatments. The first one is for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. The cancer regimen consists of cyclophosphamide, doxorubicin, vincristine, and prednisone. Next is Hodgkin's lymphoma. The cancer regimen consists of doxorubicin, bleomycin, vinblastin, and carbazin. Next is breast cancer. The cancer regimen consists of 5 fluorouracil epirubicin, and cyclophosphamide. And lastly, acute myelogenous leukemia. The cancer regimen consists of cytarabine, donorubicin, and etoposide. CDR unit do's and don'ts. When entering the clean room, take note of your personal hygiene and the garbing methods. Ensure nails are neat and trimmed. Remove cosmetic nail polish or jewelry before entering. Do not enter the sterile compounding areas with any open wounds. For the garbing methods, make sure you don your personal protective equipment from the dirtiest to the cleanest. First, uh, put on your shoe covers, facial and hair cover, jumpsuit, hand gloves, and don the additional PPE for hazardous compounding. Next is maintaining the workstation. Clean and disinfect laminar airflow workbench, disinfect materials and substances with alcohol swabs, follow the working procedure and rules, understand the additional requirements for CSEC. Next is practicing aseptic technique. Make sure you follow the seven steps hand washing technique. Make sure you know how to manipulate ampules, vials, and drips. And always follow the four rules of a septic technique, which are use no touch technique, reduce air disturbances, arrangement of objects in LAF cabinet, and no interruption. When entering the clean room, do not bring in any food or drinks. Do not smoke, do not make any sharp or sudden movement, and do not enter or exit the clean room unless necessary. Tips time! What do you need to do before entering the VR unit? The first thing that you need to do is recall the things you have learned during the lectures. Revise the classes of cytotoxic drugs, spill management, cytotoxic spill kit, and to make things easier, revise the whole topic before you enter the unit. Okay, so this is based on my own experience. I attached at this unit for a month and the first thing that I learned was to write a label. It was kind of a fast-paced learning process because the pharmacists were busy. So my advice is when you go for internship, no matter what unit you're in, please pay attention and listen carefully when somebody teach you something. This is the intent form sent by the nurses to the pharmacist in CDR unit. In order to write the label, the ones in the circle must be calculated. Once it is completed, the label can be written. Once both are completed, it must be counter-checked by the pharmacist to prevent any sort of error. Please make sure to take note. Once you have familiarized with the label, you can start to pay attention to the combination of cancer regimen and type of cancer. Last but not least, if you are not sure or confused or if you don't know about anything, please, please do not be shy to ask for help because they are more than happy to help you. As interns, it is our responsibility to learn as much as we can. So always be positive in whatever situation that you are in. Keep calm, don't panic, and the most important thing is to remember to have fun. We wish you all the best for your hospital pharmacy training and thanks for watching!